Yahoo's chief executive, Marissa Mayer, ordered her workers get in the office or get out. Of course, quite a stir, especially with working mothers. Well, we have two working women with us right now. Sabrina Schaefer from the Independent Women's Forum is in Washington, and Debbie Madden from Cyrus Innovation is here. They have two opposing views on this subject. Debbie, to you first, because you're sitting next to me. Going to work is better. Make your case. Stuart, thank you so much for having me. And telecommuting is not a new topic. This has been around for decades. But Marissa Mayer's decision to end it for Yahoo is stirring interesting conversation. And yes, an individual can be productive from virtually anywhere. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about company productivity, which is more than just the sum of individuals. You've got to rub up against each other. You've exactly. got to be in an office situation. That's the way exactly. to be effective in the modern tech world. Is that Absolutely. correct? Absolutely. In my experience, face to face engaging conversations, water cooler chat, that's where the productivity lies. Um, so, Sabrina, I know you're getting into this. You say that working from home, you are defending working from home. Go. Yeah, well, I don't think it's a, that there's a one-size-fits-all policy out there, but I do think that the genie is out of the bottle, so to speak, and that Americans have um, shown employers that they love being able to have workplace flexibility. They like to be able to share jobs. They like to be able to telecommute. And, and the traditional workplace that we used to think of in which people came to their desk at 9 and left at 5 is no longer um, really reflective of the 21st century lifestyle in which people want to be able to take care of children or maybe care for an aging parent or just have a life outside of the office. But, you know, there is an element of goofing off, is there not, Sabrina, from working at home? I mean, nobody knows what you're really doing, do they? Well, right, there are definitely challenges. Look, I'm the director of an office in which we, it's virtual. It's a virtual office. Everybody works from home. Um, and that poses particular challenges for me in a managerial position. How do I know that people are at their desk when they say they are? But on balance, it allows me to attract um, better talent. And I think this is where I think Mayor is going to have some trouble. Okay. Um, how does she compete with other companies that are offering? Offering more flexible work arrangements. Debbie, so, uh, Ms. Mayer, she's very wealthy. Yeah. You know, she was a founder of Yahoo for heaven's sake. I think she was employee number 20. She's got a lot of money. She's got a, a, a crib or whatever you call it, a nursery, a nursery in yeah. her a nursery. office yes. for heaven's sake. Yes, and, well, and, and of course, there's very few, if any, other working yeah. moms that can do this. Right. Um, and I'm a working mom myself. And for me. So, um, uh, do you insist on going to the office even though you're a working mom and, and your child is someplace else? Yes, and for me, um, my number one priority, not only for myself, but for my entire um, corporate base, is uh, work life balance. And I don't see it as exclusive of happiness. And in fact, at Cyrus Innovation, the co location is happiness. We've, we've made it so that you can come to the office and still have flexible work hours, still have unlimited sick time, still have 40 hours per week for professional development. That's independent learning. Um, so I don't see one as, as withholding the other. Um, Sabrina, would you work for a company which did not allow you to work from home? Right now, I would not because, like Debbie, I have three young children and I like to be there when they get home from school and I like to be able to um, occasionally you know, ch ch juggle my schedule so I can accommodate them. But you know what's so funny about this whole conversation is that a few months ago, the University of Texas at Austin put out a study that found that, that people who telecommute actually work more hours than their colleagues in the office. And a lot of women at the time were then appalled by that. You know, oh no, we're working more than our, than our friends in the office. Now we're hysterical because we might get rid of telecommuting. So I think it's important to keep it in perspective that there is going to be a different um, policy that works for okay. every company. And let me close know. it with this: <laughs> I'm holding in my hand a BlackBerry. Every single person yeah. who works on Varney and Company has a BlackBerry. Every single person works from home on a BlackBerry. All of us do. We're all in the loop constantly, and we have no choice. Debbie, <laughs> Sabrina, thank you very much indeed for joining us. It was a good debate. I think it's really stirred up a lot of fire here. Thanks very much. Great. Thanks, Gary. The mainstream media's long honeymoon with President Obama, I think, is coming.